Hello and welcome to Enhance Ephemeral Gaming, where today we're going to be wasting absolutely no time and jumping right into five quick tips for the game Dredge. Whether you're a new player or you've put some time in dredging up relics of the past, this list should have something for you, so join me as we head into tip number one. Now tip number one is to plan your research wisely. Some items are going to be getting you further and faster and overall increase your level of convenience exponentially. But research parts are hard to come by, especially early on, so I'll be giving you my recommended ideal research path on how to spend your first few upgrades. I would start with the flexible fishing pole. It enables the shallow and coastal fishing with the same rod. It's a huge deal early on, and you can absolutely ignore oceanic. The second thing we're going to be doing is the improved outboard engine. It's cheap and it allows you to run multiple engines, increasing your speed and mitigating your damage issues. The third thing will be the hardy crab pot and the improved trawl net. If you're only going to do one of these, the improved trawl net is the option. It makes a big difference in the level of micromanagement you need for your passive income. The next upgrade will be the Jet Drive Engine. This is a one-slot engine that, if used in all the final slots, is one of the fastest top speeds in the game. I would then rush the Versatile Rod. This is a focus on fishing for a while, and it's a fishing game, so that makes sense. This forces you to open up the heat-resistant and anti-tangle lines to get there, but the Versatile Rod will allow you to fish almost anywhere, and it is personally the rod that I've chosen to keep installed at the very end of the game. After this, my recommendation is to continue to focus on either crab pots or trawl net upgrades, as they will continue to further your passive income and lessen the micromanagement you need for repairs. I've got a tip that covers them as well as passive income coming up. That leads me to tip number two, and that is to invest early in your passive income. In Dredge, you're frequently balancing movement through the story with financial concerns. You'll have constant repairs as the inevitable negative interactions with rocks, creatures of the deep, and even your own sanity occur. In addition to those repairs to improve your experience and in some cases progress the story, you're going to need to purchase and install upgrades such as larger hulls and multi-use rods. The solution to affording these things are the trawl nets and the crab pots. You can fish absolutely, but this helps your time be more efficient. Now, this allows you to generate income while you're exploring, dredging up parts, and other story-related items, while also in many cases effectively improving your inventory, which is huge early on. Let's quickly cover each of these things. The first is the trawl net, and this is, in my opinion, the best way to generate passive income. It's attached to your ship, and it can be raised and lowered into the water, to catch fish as you travel. Now once I got mine, I virtually never raised it out of the water, and while early on they only catch coastal fish, they still more than earn their place, with even the worst models taking up a 2x2 two two section of your inventory, while providing an additional 5x5 five five grid of fish capacity inside the net, and get you around 8 fish each day. Now keep in mind this is the worst it can possibly do for you, and you do have to repair them in order to continue to catch fish, but most players are going to be visiting a shipyard once every day or two anyway, and the cost to repair it is negligible compared to the funds that it generates. You can even catch valuable fish at night without slowing down or stopping to risk getting hit by that boat you see in the shadows of your mind. Crab pots are my second suggestion here, and while not as efficient as the trawl nets, they are a good option when you manage them well. I recommend setting them at a depth of around 3 to 5 meters. The blue crab is the most efficient here, and it only spawns in the 3 to 5 meter range. Now, if you also then deploy them close to a merchant, early on you can get back and forth even at night. Now, their space and durability is very limited early, so I primarily use them for something quick to gather at the end of the day or in the evening while staying close to safety. Now tip number three. Tip number three is to plan and prepare yourself for disaster. And this is going to be an engine makeup issue. So what I'm going to recommend is that we've opened our single jet drive engine. I recommend that while this is one of the more expensive things you can do, 
you replace every single engine with the single jet drive engine. At the very end of the game, that means you will have 10 single engines with a top speed of 95 kilometers per hour before any bonuses. And this has a huge additional benefit for you. Not only is it fast, it's resistant to damage. Normally, if your engine is damaged while traveling and fishing, you lose every bit of the speed that is granted by that engine, which in some cases can reduce you to a crawl and put you in a situation that you might get sunk completely. In this scenario, since damage is done in single square increments, you lose at most about 10% of your speed at any given time which while that is inconvenient, it still easily lets you escape dangerous scenarios and you can operate largely unhindered until you're able to purchase repairs. This is gonna lead us to tip number four. Tip number four is just to limit your nighttime activities. Now, while some players will inevitably enjoy the risks and challenges that insanity provides, the basic truth is that very little actually needs to happen after dark in this game. My suggestion is that you plan your evenings accordingly, either using the time to perform upgrades on your boat or clearing the nearest fishing spots for the nighttime's catch, which is higher than average in sail value. Other than that, long journeys should only be done in relation to quests or rather pursuits as they're referred to in Dredge. Tip number five. Tip number five is that while most things in Dredge are not missable, hooded figures are. As soon as you have spoken to a hooded figure, of which there are four in the game, red, purple, uh, yellow, and blue, they are something you should immediately drop everything you're doing to complete their task. Because if you don't, they, along with their rewards, are going to expire forever. They all give you some reading material, which gives you passive bonuses and benefits throughout the rest of the game. All right, tip number six. Now, I didn't think there would be a tip number six here, and this is going to be considered my bonus category. I'm going to say a couple of very quick things. First things first, research pro uh, parts. While they are hard to get early on, as soon as you have unlocked the traveling merchant, they will spawn in the final tab to be purchased. They're actually quite cheap when they are purchasable, and you should always be picking them up when you see them there. The second thing is the refined metal that will be used for a lot of your hull upgrades. I personally do not suggest buying it as it is very cost inefficient and towards the end of the game I threw away or sold approximately 10 of these things. They are very numerous later on in the game and if you have hit a point where you feel you need to buy one you can absolutely do so. However, it probably means you should just go ahead and advance the story and go back and do that later. Those are all of my quick tips for now. If you are interested in further tips for this game or in-depth breakdowns, there are a lot of things we did not touch on here today. So please let me know in the comments below. And before you go, if you like this content and you want to keep seeing more from me, please drop me a like or consider subscribing. And as always, if you've made it this far, thank you very much for sticking with me and enjoy your time gaming.